All right, time for the leaders class. So we're going to give it about three minutes to give people a chance to get online. You will need, if you can get one, a small pillow. Big pillow is okay, but a small pillow. I'm going to use this little black pad right here. Uh, something soft uh, that's going to work with us later on today. Again, something small is good. And then a couple of things that can represent cones. All right, so I have actual cones. but uh, So we're going to need a small pillow and some cones for some of today's class. If you don't have those things, you will have to use your imagination, and you guys rock at that, so that's perfectly fine. So again, we're going to get started when the timer gets to the bottom. Got a couple of fun games that we're going to do at the end of the class today that we haven't done yet, and so very, very fun stuff coming. So make sure, parents, please uh, comment on there so I know who is in class today. And again, we're going to need a small throw pillow of some sort, something you can use that's soft, and a stuffed animal will do. Something like that would be perfect. And then something that we can use as cones. Uh, you can use plastic cups for cones. You can use cones for cones. You can use brothers and sisters for cones. I don't recommend that one. That doesn't work out very well. But about two minutes, we're going to get started with some little leader action here. So get ready. I will not have them build a giant fort today or a giant uh, obstacle course. So don't worry. There's not going to be a big cleanup after today's class. All right. Very good. So give it about 90 more seconds, little leaders, and we're ready to rock. Good. Henry is here, and he would love to use his sister as a cone. <laughs> it's a great idea, however, it might not work out well, <laughs> especially if she sticks her foot out while we're doing one of our drills. That would be really bad. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move some of these windows around here that I don't need. There we go. All right. Very good. Good to see you guys. All right, a minute left. All right, 45 seconds. So little leaders, get ready. Got a couple of fun games we're going to do. At the end of the class and during the class, we have a couple games during the class that we're going to do as well. It'll be good. We need to grab one more thing. I'll be right back. Almost forgot. We used this yesterday. It worked out really well. All right, I'm gonna set this down over here. Again, we've got 20 seconds. Good. Good to see you guys on here. Little leaders class is about to begin. Any younger brothers and sisters can also participate in the class, of course. All right. Very good. All right, guys, it is time. I'm going to take this clock. I'm going to make it smaller and put it down here. We're going to use it for some of our games later on in the hour here or in the 20 minutes in the class. All right, little leaders. So hopefully you are ready to go. Our classes are shorter than the classes you come to here. So stay with me, okay? Ready? Face front and give me a strong bow. All right, point to your ear and say, I'm a good listener. Then make your big muscle say, I'm a hard worker. Then lock in your attention and say, I'm a leader, sir. All right, I hope you said it nice and clearly so everybody in your whole neighborhood can hear you. All right, from here, we're going to start off with some jumping jacks. We throw our arms in a circle like this. As we do our jumping jacks, we're going to try to touch our fingers above our head and then come all the way back to attention. Let's do 100 million of them. Does that sound good, 100 million? That'll probably take a long time. Let's just do 10. Let's just do 10. Ready? 10 of them. Ready? Go for it. One, sir. Two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Very good, very good. All right, well, today we're going to come straight into one of our favorite games, Jump, Duck, Avoid. If you were with me yesterday, we did our, this at the end of the class. Well, today we're going to do this at the beginning of the class. Now, usually, I'll use one of our soft uh, uh, swords, our soft swords that we have, but those are black, and this background is black, and my shirt is black, my pants are black, and so you wouldn't see it. It'd be like invisible, so it would hit you, and we don't want this thing to get you, okay? So since you guys aren't here, um, this isn't going to hurt you for real, we're going to use this so you can see it a lot better. So you know how this works. If I say duck, I'm going to swing this like I'm going to hit you in the head, and you're going to duck and come back up. Very important that we duck, not just bend forward. This is a bow. So we don't want to bow. Keep your body strong and bend down so you can still see me. If you can still see me, you know you did a good duck, okay? So let's start with duck, ready? From here, only when I say duck, and try to do it before it would have gotten to your head. Your head would be the middle of the screen right there, okay? Here we go, ready? And duck, whoosh, duck, whoosh, 
Duck. <laughs> Good. Duck. One more time. Ready? Not yet. Did I get you? Did I fool you? Ready? Duck. All right, very good. Now we have our jump. So again, I'm going to swing it like I'm going to hit your toes with this. We don't want to get your toes. So you're going to jump up just high enough so it doesn't get your toes. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Ooh, there we go. There we go. So you can see when it gets there. Here. here we go. Ready? And jump. Good. Don't let it get you. Jump. Not yet. All right. Got to try to see if you're paying attention. Ready? Jump. Ready? Two more. Jump. One more. Jump. All right, now avoid, I'm coming straight at you. So you can't go down, you can't go up, you've gotta to go to the side. So you can go to one side, then the next time I try to get you, go to the other side, and right back to your center. Here we go, ready? Avoid! Good, watch out, don't let me get you. I'll come straight through that TV screen. Here we go, ready, and avoid! Good, two more of these. Ready, avoid! Good, one more time, ready, not yet. I bet I didn't pull you that time, did I? All right, ready? Avoid. Good job. All right, gang. From here, we're going to mix it up. So if I say duck, you'll duck. If I say jump, you'll jump. If I say avoid, you'll do that. And then I've got the super secret sneaky extra level three. It's even harder. So here we go. Ready? And duck. Jump. Jump. Avoid. Ready? What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be avoid? Oh, I don't know. Ready? Duck. And jump. All right. Now, this is the super sneaky extra level three round. Now, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to swoop. If I swoop down, you'll jump. Straight across, you'll duck. Straight down like a chop, and you're going to avoid out of the way. Here we go. Let's see if you get the right one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. What is this one? I hope you ducked or else I got you in the head. Here we go. Ready? What about this one? I hope you jumped or you lost a toe. Here we go. What about this one? All right. Good. You time to get right back to your spot. Don't fall down. You're going to hurt yourself. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Step out of the way. Good. Here we go. Uh -huh. Oh, I hope you ducked or else you got a haircut there. It's the only kind of haircut you can get right now is the mom and dad cutting your hair. Here we go. Ready? All right, one more. Don't let me trick you. Here we go. Ready? And that was hard. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We'll do one more. Here we go. Ready? And the avoid. All right, great job, little leaders. So from here, we're going to stretch it out a little bit. So as we stretch, do your best because here's the deal. When you get back into this school, you may be kicking super high because of how hard you're working on your stretches right now, okay? Now, I know it's kind of weird doing our martial arts in your, in your house, in your TV room, or in your uh, dining room, or wherever you're doing your martial arts class, but this is your dojo right now, so you have to work hard at it, okay? So legs straight, feet together, arms up, and like you're diving into a pool, hold that stretch, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, a little bit lower, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One leg straight. Hi, the other one behind you. Keep your knees away from each other. We talked about this yesterday. If my knees are too close and I stretch, I fall over. I don't want to do that. So keep your knees away from each other. Then reach your chest forward, reach your hands forward, and then put your nose down low. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, a little lower, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, we're going to quick switch on three. I'm going to race you. On your mark, get set. Three. <laughs> there you go. All right, good. Here we go. Ready? Now reach forward. Both hands stretching forward. Head down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. A little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. Legs have to a V. So from here, we're going to take our thumbs, latch them together like there's one giant hand with eight fingers. All right, so if you're looking at your hand, it's just like eight fingers pointing at you. From here, I'm going to swoop and touch the inside of one foot, swoop the other foot, swoop, swoop. You can say swoop if you want, swoop, swoop, swoop. I'm going to swoop as far as I can, one way, as far as I can, the other, three more, one, two, three. Now we push them out further because we're stretched out. Put your hands down like you have two spiders in front of you, and the spiders are going to have a conversation. They're going to talk, and they're going to walk. They're walking, they're talking, they're walking, they're talking, they're walking, they're talking, they're walking. They go as far as they can go. Then they get mad at each other and they have an argument and one goes to one foot, one goes to the other foot and that pulls me down. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Butterfly stretch, bottoms of our feet together. Moving up and down like butterfly wings. 
All right, and what color is your butterfly today? You can tell your parents. They can post it on the Facebook under the comments section. So my butterfly is, well, I'm wearing all black, so I guess I'm a black butterfly today. So we're flapping, we're flapping, we're flapping. All right, can you guys push your knees down to the floor? I can get mine close, but I can only get one knee to touch at a time. All right, good job, guys. So from here, we're going to stand up. Let's see if you can do five more jumping jacks while Mr. Rashad gets a quick drink of water. Ready, go, five jumping jacks. Let's see if you can get done with five jumping jacks before I'm done getting a drink of water. Here we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did you get it? All right. So next we have stripe number four. So if you watch the classes and you've done your chop, chop, knee strike, you've already gotten stripe number one in your belt. Okay. So we check that off the list. Stripe number four has changed a little bit. It was a, a stranger grabbing your wrist and getting away. But right now we're not touching anybody. Right. So from here, we're going to go our palm, elbow, down elbow, knee strike, combo pack with cheese. Are you ready? Okay, no cheese, but here. So from here, the first part of strike number four is palm, palm, that's number one. So when I say one, we're gonna palm, palm. But you only palm, palm if I say what? If I say one, if I say one, palm, palm. If I don't say one, you don't palm, palm, okay? So if I say two, will you do palm, palm? No, only if I say? Number one, here we go, ready with me, and one, pom-pom, one, pom-pom, elephant, elephant is not a one, is it? Okay, ready, one, pom-pom, one, pom-pom. Now, when I say two, elbow, elbow. So elbow strike looks like a chicken wing, and then I smell my armpit. You don't have to smell your armpit, though. It's just what it kind of looks like. All right, so el elbow, elbow. So now when I say two, elbow, elbow. Let's see if you can do it, ready? Two, elbow, elbow, two, elbow, Elbow, two, elbow, elbow, zebra is not a two. Okay, ready? Two, elbow, elbow. All right, good job. So one was what? Palm, palm. Two was elbow, elbow. Three is down, elbow, down, elbow. So if you ever see someone and they're like, they get a touchdown, they get something really awesome, they go, yeah. All right, that's a downward elbow. So I'm going one, two, when you hear what number? What number is it? It's number three. Very good. So when I say three, down elbow, down elbow, you're saying, yeah, man. Okay, here we go. Ready? And three. Elbow, elbow. Good. Three. Elbow, elbow. Rhinoceros. You knew I was going to try to trick you. I didn't trick you, did I? I didn't think so. Here we go. Ready? Three. Down elbow, down elbow. Good. And three. Down elbow, down elbow. Excellent. All right. Last one is number four. Mr. Rashad can't remember much higher than that, okay? So let's review before you get number four. One was palm, palm. Two was regular elbow, regular elbow. Three was oh yeah, elbow, oh yeah, elbow, okay? Number four is knee strike, knee strike. So my hands are up like I'm holding a watermelon. Do not go to the kitchen and get a melon, okay? We're gonna knee strike one, knee strike two. We're gonna pretend we're holding a watermelon and we're gonna smash it with those two knee strikes, okay? So only when I count what number. It is number four, very good, ready? So I say four, knee strike, knee strike, ready? Four, knee strike, knee strike, ready? Four, knee strike, knee strike, ready? 14. Did I get you that time at least? I try hard to get you that time. All right, here we go, ready? Four, knee strike, knee strike. All right, guys and gals. So when I say one, palm, palm. When I say two, elbow, elbow. When I say three, down, elbow, down, elbow. When I say four, knee strike, knee strike. Let's see if we remember everything. Okay, I'm gonna help you out round one. Here we go, round one, ready? Four, or knee strike, knee strike, I said elbow. What about three? Down, up, down, Two, regular, regular. Two, regular, regular. One, palm, palm. Four, knee, knee. Four, knee, knee. One, palm, palm. All right, now I'm not gonna help you. So I'm gonna call out the number and we're gonna see if you get it right, okay? Ready? First one is two. Did you do regular elbow, regular elbow? All right, what about four? Knee strike, knee strike, very good, one. Palm, palm, excellent. How about three? Which one was that one? Downward elbow, downward elbow. All right, level two. I guess this would be level three, wouldn't it? Level three. This time I'm gonna call out two different numbers, and when I say go, you're gonna have to do those two moves. So for example, if I say one, two, go, you would do palm, palm, elbow, elbow, and we're gonna see if you can do it before time is up, before I call the next two moves. Here we go, ready? How about one and three, go. Hopefully you just did. Palm, palm, down elbow, down elbow. Okay, if not, that's okay, catch up. Here we go, ready? Two, four. Which one was that one? Ready, go. 
Regular elbow, regular elbow, knee strike, knee strike. Very good. All right, one more level three. Four, then one. Ready, go. Four was the knee strikes. Very good. And one was the very good palm strikes. All right, guys. Last level. We're going to go level four, and I'm going to call out four different ones, and you have to do them in that order, and then you have to try to do it before time is up. Here we go. One, four, three, two. Oh, well, that's hard. One, four, three, two. Ready? Go. So one was palm strikes. Four was knee strikes. Good. Three was downward elbow. And then two was regular elbow. All right. We're going to do one more. I'm going to make it easy though. One, two, three, four, go. Palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down, elbow, down, elbow, knee strike, knee strike. Did you beat me? Did you do it faster than me? All right. We're going to try one more time. Let's see if you can beat me. Here you go. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go my fastest speed. One, two, three, four, go. Palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down, elbow, down, elbow, knee strike, knee strike. All right, did you beat me or did I get you? All right, we'll call it a tie. Can we call it a tie? All right, you win. All right, here we go. From here, one of our other stripes for the blue stripers, we're only going to do this a couple times, is a big, board breaking, huge, giant, massive step elbow strike. Yeah, that's a mouthful. That's a big title. All right, so I've got my big elbow strike behind me. I take my front foot, I pick it up. I'm going to do a huge, giant, enormous step, and then, yeah, board-breaking elbow. So all I'm doing is look for little stance to a big stance. So my back arm is my big power arm. My front arm is pointing at you. Hello. I pick up my leg. Big, huge, giant, enormous step. Yeah, elbow. We're only going to do three of these in blue stripers. That's part of your strike number three, okay? So here we go. Lift. Big, enormous, giant step, elbow, ayah! All right, we got two more, or three more, what did I say? We'll do three more, three more is good. Ready? Lift, big, giant, enormous, lunging step, ayah! All right, two more, two more, here we go. Lift that leg up, big, giant, enormous step, ayah! One more, do you have one more on you? Okay, here we go, ready? Pick it up, big, giant, enormous step, ayah! Big elbow, board breaking, smash, the board smashes to a million virtual pieces in front of our eyes. Excellent job, guys and girls. So, now, what we need, here next, we only need two more things, is we need a couple of cones for a cone run. So again, you can use plastic cups if you have that. You can use toys, you can use family members, but I don't recommend using family members, okay? So watch, I'm gonna put these in a line with enough space for me to run through. If you only have three, that's okay. If you have five like I do, that's okay. Because it really depends on how much space that you have to do this drill. I just happen to be in a giant martial arts school that's empty, okay? All right, so first, you know how to cut in and out, in and out. I'm going to show you first, so you might be still setting your cones up. You may still be getting cones, that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, around, without running into any of my cones. Then I'm going to go back the other way, around, 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 and that is success for round one, okay? So when you're ready, we're going to start round one. We're going to run around each one and back to home base, okay? So we're going to keep on going until our timer is up. So I'm gonna set our timer. And I'm setting the timer for seven hours and 30 minutes. Just kidding, 20 seconds. All right, so 20 seconds, if you have your cones ready, on your mark, get set, and go for it. So we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. In and around, in and around, in and around, in and around. 12 seconds left, keep going. Woo, I'm gonna get dizzy. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Now, we're going to make this one harder. This time, I'm going to face one wall. And now I'm going like this. I'm kind of going forwards and backwards. So I'm facing one side of the room instead of going forward. This is harder, but we're going to try 20 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Forward and back. I'm going up and backwards. Good. There you go. Keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving. Try not to trip over your dog. Watch out for the cat because sometimes they're meaner. My cat is meaner than my dog. Here we go. We're going around. Almost there. Good. And time. We have one more level than a quick game. All right. So now, any guesses? We went forward and we went sideways. What is your guess? What do you think we're going to do next? Upside down? No, we're not going upside down. We're not going upside down. That would be very dangerous. We're going to go backwards. So now, from here, I'm going to go backwards. I've got to look and look so I don't trip over anything, or in this case, anybody. Okay, here we go. We have 20 seconds on the clock. Go for it. Backwards. 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 This is the most dangerous thing we've done the whole time. Backwards. Look at this. 
Back up again. We're going. We're moving. We're grooving. Good. Five seconds left. Woo. Three, two, one, and time. All right, go ahead and clean that up. Set it to the side, and it is game challenge time. You will need your pillow for this one. Again, you can use a target if you have a target. If you have an older brother or sister, you can use their headgear. That would work for this also. So what I'm going to be able to do first is I'm going to, be able to toss it up and catch it. If I can toss it up and catch it, I'll be able to do this. But if I toss it, I can't catch it and hit the floor. This is going to be a hard challenge. We want easy challenges. Okay, so I'm going to toss it up, catch. Go ahead and try that. Toss it up, catch. Again, if you're still getting a pillow, that's okay. Take your time. I'll still be here. Toss it up, catch. Toss it up, catch. One more time. All right. Now I'm going to toss it up and I'm going to try to punch before I have to catch it. So watch. I'm going to toss it up, punch, and then catch the pillow. Toss it up, punch the other hand, catch the pillow. All right, try that. Here we go. 20 seconds. See how many times you can do that without dropping the pillow. Ready? Go. Punch. 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 All right, how many times? Whoa, that was almost a really bad throw there. Good. Eight seconds left. Whoa. Five. Whoa. Four. Three. Two. And one time. Good. Any guesses what's next after one punch? Two punches. And I'm going to throw it up. One, two, and catch. I'm going to toss it up. One, two, and then catch. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, set, and go. Toss it up. One, two, catch. Toss it up. One, two, catch. Toss it up. One, two, catch. Good. Ten seconds left. And at the final level, level three. Whoa, that was close. One, two. Toss it up. One, two. Toss it up. One, two. One more time. One, two. All right. Great job, guys and girls. So now, Level three is as many punches as you can do. So you might get four, you might get three, you might just get two, you might get a hundred. That'd be hard unless somebody catches your pillow and holds it for a long time. So you're gonna cut, toss up, do as many punches, and then catch. All right, let's try it. 20 seconds. See what your highest number of punches is. Ready, go. Toss up. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, that was close. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I can't get higher than five. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost six. One, two, three, four, five. Almost hit me in the head. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good job. How many did you guys appear to? You're more than welcome to comment in the bar there. You can also, when this is over, take a quick video of them doing their pillow toss challenge. So you can throw it up, do a couple punches, and then put that in the comment section to challenge other kids to try to beat that number. And just have a lot of fun here together, guys at Oma. Uh, you guys did an awesome job. Thanks for staying with us the whole class. Hey, Chris. You guys are rock stars, so if you're just joining us, you can start this over once the live version is over, which is going to be in about 10 seconds. Hand in the middle. Little leaders rule on three. One, two, three. Little leaders rule. You guys are out of here. Cannot wait to see you back here on the mat.